So another way to use nano is to create files with it. Instead of just making an empty file first with touch and then using nano to edit it, we could instead just say nano and then use a file name that doesn't exist. So if I do nano shopping list, we know that it opens the contents of the shopping list uh, file in nano. Instead, uh, let's say I have a yard to do's file, like mow the lawn, you know, uh, fertilize the hedges, that sort of thing that doesn't exist, but I want it to exist and I want to edit it. I need to add stuff in. Well, now I have nano open. To be clear, this does not yet make me the file yard to do's.txt. I'm just telling nano, I want to edit work on a file using nano that uh, maybe one day I'll save and write out to the yard to do's.txt file, but you'll see it doesn't exist yet. There is this hidden file that you probably, maybe you noticed previously actually goes away when nano is closed. Um, so this is not a permanent file. It's hidden, but I, I have that option turned on to show hidden files. There we go. Um, anyway, in here I can write some stuff like yard to do's and then add some basic, I don't know, mow the lawn and fertilize hedges and mulch fruit trees or whatever I need to do. And then just like with any other file in nano, in nano, like we saw in the previous video, I can write out with control O or just do save control S. Uh, and then I can decide, is this the file name I want? I can delete and change it if I just start typing, but I'll keep it. Uh, and then I'll just hit enter. And now we actually have a file called yard to do's in the terminal. Well, not just in the terminal. We have that file yard to do's created and saved. Uh, and I still have it open. I could continue to edit or I can just exit. So this can be nice, you know, even if you don't plan on using nano as like <laughs> your main editor, which I don't really recommend or endorse, um, it's still really good to know about, especially if you just need to make a file quickly and put some, some basic stuff in there, just something that's already on your clipboard or just a couple of lines, or you need to tweak a single line, right? This can be very useful. Even if you're not a nano power user, uh, it still is faster than making an empty file, navigating and opening it in VS code or sublime or some text editor and saving. Uh, this is relatively fast. All right. So that's how we can use nano to make a file and edit it at the same time.